Hi there. Welcome to Banana World Well. Welcome. You should be Mrs. Evans. I want to believe that you experience no difficulty finding us. Good gracious, ma'am. I heard you as far as possible from the bus station. I was simply verifying whether I didn't leave anything. The universe of diversion has seen its reasonable portion of glowing stars, but not many have displayed as splendidly and intensely. As Esther R. I. U., her name, reverberates through the chronicles of theater and TV, a demonstration of her phenomenal ability and unflinching obligation to her art. In this story, we set out on an excursion through the term Esther R. I., an excursion that is set apart by snapshots of debate and misfortune, and at last we will know who she loathed more than anybody Esther R. was a lady of considerable ability, a power of nature on both stage and screen, brought into the world in Pompano Oceanside, Florida. Her initial years were saturated with a profound appreciation for human expressions enthusiastically that blasted more splendidly than the Florida sun. She set out on a way that would see her beauty in the phases of Broadway and Commander at crowds with her attractive presence, yet it was her job as Florida Evans in the weighty sitcom Great Times that would scratch her name into the aggregate memory of America as the matron of the Evans family row depicted a person that reverberated with watchers turning into a symbol by her own doing, yet underneath the commendation and recognition. A wild excursion unfurled in the background. Well, welcome. You should be Mrs. Evans. I want to believe that you experienced no difficulty finding us. God help us, ma'am. I heard you as far as possible from the bus station. The preliminaries of great times would test Esther Rolls settled more than ever clashes with the show's makers and conflicts over the course of her personality prompted her crucial choice to leave the series after its fourth season. It was a choice conceived not of self-image, but rather of a savage obligation to the poetry of her personality and the depiction of African-American families on TV. Esther R.'s takeoff from the great times denoted a defining moment in her profession and life. Her into another section loaded up with the two provokes and open doors. Her devotion to significant jobs stayed immovable, and she utilized her foundation to resolve basic social issues, guaranteeing her voice kept on being heard. As we dive further into Esther R.'s story, we will uncover the intricacies of her own life, the discussions that encompassed her, and the enduring influence she left on the universe of African-American theater and film. Her heritage, set apart by strength and steadfast standards, stays a signal of motivation for the people who set out to challenge shows and take a stab at validity in the realm of diversion. Go along with us as we venture through the duration of Esther, a lady who genuinely despised compromise more than anybody. Else Esther R.'s excursion into the universe of acting was a heavenly odyssey that started in the core of Florida, where she was conceived. It was where her energy for human expressions was supported by the energetic culture that encompassed her. Esther's adoration for narrating in execution became obvious very early on, showing her a way. That would ultimately lead her to the splendid lights of Broadway and the screens of TV. From the very start, Esther showed an uncommon inclination for acting. Her initial exhibitions were set apart by an inborn capacity to convey complex feelings with legitimacy and profundity. It was this crude ability that grabbed the eye of chiefs and makers, driving her onto the stage in different theater creations. Esther's presence on Broadway was completely momentous. She graced the phases of New York City, enrapturing crowds with her attractive exhibitions. Her flexibility as an entertainer permitted her to take on a large number of jobs, from emotional to comedic, gaining her honors and appreciation from her friends. Esther's ability that put her aside was her immovable devotion to her art. She moved toward every job with fastidious readiness, submerging herself in the characters she depicted. Her obligation to legitimacy in her exhibitions resounded profoundly, with crowds producing areas of strength for her and the people who watched her dramatic in a lifelong set apart by early achievement. Esther. R's way in the long run drove her to the famous job that would characterize her heritage, that of Florida Evans in the earth-shattering TV series Great Times. It was a job that wouldn't just sling her to fame yet, in addition permit her to break obstructions as a dark entertainer in Hollywood, as Florida Evans' Esther depicted the matron of the Evans. Family, a person dearest to watchers the country in her depiction, was pervaded with an uncommon blend of solidarity and weakness, 
making Florida an imaginary person as well as an image of flexibility and expectation for African-American families. Esther's obligation to validity stretched out to her part in great times, where she demanded depicting a working-class mother with respect and honesty. Declining to think twice about the person's embodiment, this commitment to her art and standards gained favor with her inside the business and charmed her to fans who found in her their very own impression experiences. The outcome of great times brought Esther R. into the parlors of millions of Americans. Her presentation execution resounded not just in view of her ability, but since she was a pioneer, she broke generalizations, demonstrating that African-American families could be depicted with profundity and substance on TV. Esther Ah's excursion, The Universe of Diversion, was irrefutably exceptional. However, it was not without its difficulties and snapshots of significant choice. The critical section of her vocation accompanied her job as Florida Evans in the momentous sitcom Great Times while the show earned boundless praise. Esther's insight into the set was a long way from smooth. Sail Great Times was an exploration series that handled significant social issues while giving humor and heart to its viewers. The focal point, all things considered, was Esther's depiction of Florida Evans, the solid-willed matron of the Evans family. Character turned into a symbol reverberating profoundly with African-American families who saw their very own impression lives in her battles and wins in the background anyway, pressure stewed Esther, a consummate proficient with a significant obligation to genuineness, ended up in conflict with the show's makers. She put stock in depicting the Evans family with pride and honesty, mirroring the real factors of African-American existence without depending on generalizations or personifications. Esther's devotion to her personality and standards put her in direct struggle with where the show was taking her. She resolutely went against the depiction of specific storylines and character. Advancements that she felt didn't line up with her vision for Florida Evans, quite possibly the main second in Esther's. Vocation came when she made the tough decision to leave from great times toward the end of its fourth season. It was a move that sent shockwaves through the business and left enthusiasts of the show in dismay. However, Esther's choice was not made delicately. It was established in a firmly established obligation to the nobility of her personality and the depiction of African-American families on TV Esther R's takeoff was a resonating assertion. It was an explanation that requested regard for the characters she had rejuvenated and for the genuine families they addressed. Her choice was a declaration of creative uprightness and a refusal to think twice about the qualities she held dear. Esther's flight was a basic crossroads in her vocation. She confronted vulnerability about her expert future, but she stayed fearless in her obligation to significant jobs that lined up with her standards. Esther kept on utilizing her foundation to resolve significant social issues, utilizing her popularity to advocate for change and Esther's assurance to make a positive effect through her work. Reached out past the bounds of a TV studio, she perceived the influence of narrating to shape discernments and impact society. Her process post Great Times was set apart by a steady quest for jobs that shed light on significant issues and praised the rich embroidery of African American life. Her principled stand set a trend for entertainers and specialists who might come after her, underscoring the significance of valid depictions and the obligation that accompanies addressing minimized networks in the media. Esther R's story fills in as an update that occasionally the main effect in the realm of diversion is made not on the screen, but rather in the artist's background in the decisions and the stands they take. To maintain their convictions and values, a section of her life keeps on moving the people who take a stab at validity and honesty in their imaginative undertakings. Esther's choice to leave great times denoted a defining moment in her profession. Yet it was a choice made based on guidelines and a well-established obligation to the quality she held. Dear as the draperies fell on her job as Florida Evans Esther ventured into a world loaded up with the two difficulties and still up in the air to keep having a significant effect following her takeoff from the cherished series, Esther confronted vulnerability about the direction of her expert life. The void left by Florida Evans was huge, however, Esther was Unflinching in her devotion to jobs that resounded with her standards, she perceived the force of her foundation and the possibility to resolve significant social issues through her work. One of the astounding parts of Esther's post-good times vocation 
was her unfaltering obligation to credibility in narrating. She comprehended that the depiction of African-American life on screen had the potential to shape decisions and impact society. Esther utilized her notoriety to advocate for change and advance positive portrayals of her local area.